Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Hi guys. Welcome to Daily Styles, the new uh, segment on my channel, if you will, that will be your new favorite place for all things, happenings, events, currently revolving around our favorite man, Mr. Harry Styles. There are many times in the Harry world that things happen, it, it's just small minor things, a picture is posted, a clip is released, things that are just too small to dedicate a whole video or reaction to that I so desperately want to just ramble about and give my opinion on and maybe have a breakdown or two over. So I was like, why don't I just like make this a thing? Every time something comes up that I just want to throw on the camera for, Daily Styles. So I hope you guys are, are here for it. I hope you're down to clown, but um, this is going to be a new little regular thing that I'm going to do. Uh, we have a lot to discuss today because so many things happened this week that I just frankly, I this, this I need I need to release. I need to, <laughs> we need to talk. So uh, first and freaking foremost, Harry Styles is the first man in history to have a solo cover on US Vogue. So amazing. Whenever, okay, whenever, I don't know, let me gather my thoughts. Something happened the day, it was a week or a week and a day ago today that Harry tweeted the link to the article. Something in me happened. I woke up like at a obscene time. It was like 6.40 in the morning or something. I normally wake up at like 7.30 or 8 to go to work. But something in me just like made me wake up and instead of just going back to sleep, I'm like, I just rolled over, literally picked up my phone and as I picked it up, it went bing like new post from Harry Styles or new tweet from Harry Styles, whatever it was. And I was like, we know that doesn't happen often. So obviously checked it out and he was on the cover of Vogue in a pretty little dress. Guys, I, the man is stunning. Um, I literally, I, I, this should have already happened. Harry, as we know, is a fashion icon, truly. I mean, the man has practically been the face of Gucci for years now. He's always just, I mean, look at me, look at what I'm wearing. He has a way of like starting trends and making things fashionable without trying in any way, shape or form. He literally just wears it. Has anybody worn pearls since 1940? No, Harry Styles just throws them on and now they're a fashion statement. I mean, I think he is, everyone knows like in the past few months, like the 70s kind of style has come back. I mean, all the vintagey sort of style. Things come in and out of fashion, that's not new, but we can't lie. Harry is a big reason for that. He is truly like setting the standards, setting the trends without even without even trying, just by wearing it, just by existing. And I think there was an interview that Harry did, I think it was in The Guardian, where he talked about, they asked him like, why do you never post on social media? Why are you not really like publicly out there? And he said, you know, because whenever I do post, I want people to know that it's something that I really care about or something that is really important to me and has meaning and purpose. And we know like everything he does post is very purposeful, but it's also just like his appearances, every appearance he does make. Sometimes, you know, we see the man five times in a week or we don't see him for three months, but every time we do see him, he's there to make a statement with his fashion and with everything else going on. But yes, this Vogue cover, it was stunning, every picture was beautiful. I mean, it was completely his brand, his very like gender neutral, androgynous sort of style. My heart literally broke into a million pieces in a good way. Um, when he did pictures with Gemma, only this man would get offered the cover of Vogue and ask if he can bring his sister along. Like, so freaking sweet. I am so obsessed with Gemma. I followed her at pretty much as long as I followed Harry. So when I saw the pictures of them together, I was just like, that is the cutest ish I've ever seen. I loved it. Um, we do have to discuss though, the elephant in the room. There has been um, some controversy around this magazine cover. And I just have a few, a few minor thoughts on that. Obviously a man on the cover of a magazine wearing a dress is going to be a statement. Okay, it's going to it's going to cause a stir. People are gonna have things to say about it. 
I expected that, okay? But I didn't expect people to genuinely be offended by it. There were some people, um, I like hide your kids, hide your wife sort of response to it, which I just, I'm astounded. Um, I mean, Harry knows what he did. He, he knew, he knew that there would be a response to it. Uh, funny enough, whenever I saw him in a dress, I just didn't even, nothing even registered in my head to make me think anything of it because A, it's not the first time we've seen him in a dress. Uh, B, I mean, it's the cover of Vogue. It's not like he's like going to Target in a dress. If there was a place for a man to wear a dress, it would be on a high fashion magazine photo shoot. So like, calm down and B, or see, I've lost track. Who cares? Who really cares? That, that's all I have to say. People are just upset. He's prettier than them. Good day. <laughs> Second item of business to discuss. Harry was featured this week in Gucci's film series that they're using to premiere their 2021 spring line, I believe. Um, it was called an overture of something that never ended. We heard about this a few weeks ago that he was going to be featured. We also knew like he had been in Italy doing something with Gucci. It all kind of started to add up. We were waiting. It has several parts to it. I don't remember how many, but he was in the third installment. Um, we got these little preview pictures. Stunning. Um, I have a few things to say about the actual clip he was in. So this clip was called um, at the post office or in the post office and the main character was going to the post office writing a letter, blah, blah, blah. This man was in line and he calls up his good friend Harry to talk to him about, about what art is. Uh, it's kind of hard to exactly say because the man was speaking entirely in Italian uh, and Harry was speaking in English. Uh, we do know he speaks Italian, which of course he does, but um, that's, another, that's another subject. I mean, the man was the definition of a dreamboat. Like, I just... He looked, he looked great. He looked stunning. That color pink was purely created for him. We know this. I do have to say, I, the production quality of Harry's part was a little disappointing. Um, it very much looked like it was filmed in a backyard in one take with an iPhone 2. Uh, like it just, it was compared to like the production quality of everything else of this film series, which has been like crisp, beautiful, on point, great colors. His was like just choppy and not fabulous. Not feeling fabulous. But I mean, he did a great job, uh, said some beautiful words. This little part in particular. Perché conosci in cui l'atto creativo diventa centrale. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many thoughts, so much potential, so many uses for this clip. It kind of became a meme on Twitter the day that the film came out and um, I will continue to send it to all of my friends in response every time they text me a question. So thank you for that, Harry. <laughs> um, one small thing we have to quickly discuss. Harry was featured in a campaign for Choose Love, which is an organization. You can donate money to them for Christmas and they help refugees, LGBTQ, people in need, great cause, all of that. They put out several clips on their social media in the last week where it was like clipped together of a bunch of celebrities, you know, basically saying they support the project, telling you to donate, all of that. And we got a clip of Harry. This year, make your Christmas shopping count. Join me and choose love. I mean, 2013 frat boy Harry called. He's here to stay. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. All I have to say about it is um, get you a man who can do both. Am I right? And lastly, uh, Jimmy Fallon, my favorite, my favorite late night host. Um, he did a segment on The Tonight Show where he did a parody of Vogue's 73 Questions with Harry Styles where he pretended to be Harry. Um, Oh my God, if, if we could only get that, we know it will, we never will. We're never gonna get that long of Harry consistently talking and answering questions because as we know, the man just doesn't answer questions. <laughs> like he just finds a way to not ever answer, which I feel like was the main accurate thing in um, this segment. If you haven't watched it yet, you should go watch it. It was funny, I would say about like one fourth of it was really accurate, mainly the parts of him like just eating fruit the entire time. And as I said, 
never actually giving an answer to a question and talking slowly and the outfit on point. Um, but there were some parts where it was just like acting like Harry's a total weirdo, which he's literally not. He's so normal. Um, the stuff where, I don't know, him saying he's like, gets his fruit from like a unicorn and his cupboard going to Narnia, like stuff like that. Like it was totally, it was funny, but it's also like, okay, I don't know. There were some references that I'm like, there was clearly like a Harry involved in making this the vodka. And what's in your cup? Vodka. Really? Nose tea. How do you take your tea? With vodka. Four of those. <laughs> vodka. <laughs> wow. Straight. No, I, I mean straight vodka, not are you straight? <laughs> It's vodka! Straight, no, okay! <laughs> that is like not a well-known thing unless you are a Harry Stan. So the fact that they included that but they couldn't find some more like accurate references to make had me a little bit disappointed but you know any any Harry clout is good clout for me. I'm here for it. Uh, Jimmy's obviously a big fan of him. It, it was It was fun. <laughs> So yeah guys, that is it for Daily Styles today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's many things coming up. The Grammy nominations are coming up, I think tomorrow. Oh my God. Harry, um, is Fine Line going to win a Grammy? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. But yeah, that's coming up. Harry's performing at the Jingle Ball, which we have not seen him perform in so long. So we're definitely gonna have to discuss that. Um, otherwise, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little this little moment and I will be back with more daily styles okay bye somebody come get your man I think you got lost in my